Oh, we're on. We're on. Oh, we're on. All we're right. on. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the Suicide Kings. And we are the greatest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> we you. are Hold the, the greatest. Hold the we are the greatest. Not Hold only are we the greatest, you. but we are the greatest champions. We're the greatest. Four oh times. my god. Four time champions. Four times. I gotta tell you, well, fantastic one. I feel absolutely amazing right now. Amazing? We're on top of the world. We beat the Minutemen. We beat the Power Trip. We're the four time tag team champions. What, what is there not to celebrate about? We're worth so much more money. And Jezebel died. You? What happened? She got African sleeping something. You know, I, Phil Bannons would know about that, I think. His, his, his step. Ah, uh, whatever. On to. What are we doing today? Well, I think we're at Genesis. Genesis. We're Dude. wrestling uh, Geppetto and Pinocchio. Geppetto and Pinocchio, what come I gotta interrupt you for a second because I just gotta, I gotta ask. What's up? How did I wake up this morning and just be this sexy? Explain it to me. Why am I so good looking? I cannot stop looking. Right here. Wow. It's just. Oh. Billy! I know what sexy is. I see. How's it going? Great. I'm sexy too. You know that? You're sexy too? I'm Look sexy at you. too. You know why? I got a belt too. You got a belt too? Yeah. We're all champions. The influence stands strong with all the gold, baby. It didn't take me that long to get it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, hey, 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 back. What's yeah, up, The back. Oh, my God, yeah. What's up, man? You know, How you been? I did pretty good, but I hate to tell you, all the titles, yeah, the only ones with titles now. Oh, is that a fact? Oh, yeah. Really? See, now, after Legacy, I kind of had my little biz I had to take care of. I went back, I did a photo shoot, and let's just say, Mr. Mag is a 4th of July hottest champion! Yeah! yeah. That's right, baby! That's how we do it. Alright. How, how long did you last? Tell me. I don't know how much way to have sex with you. See, while. my secret is to get some pills. It makes it last longer. Pill? So, I mean, yeah. Pill. Yeah, I mean. Oh, that's just cheating. No, no see, see, it's not cheating unless you get caught. And uh, between all of us, yeah, you guys are the only ones. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we're all here in full effect today. We can we get this done? Oh, you got this done? Good, good. Can you give me the death pill so I can call Caitlin? You call I need round two. <laughs> yes, I'll give you it definitely. Free too. Yeah, Free. baby. That's right. Woohoo! That's I'm right. Really Geppetto, right Pinocchio. Yeah. I feel bad, man. I feel bad. So it feels good to be kings. It would appear that we've been noticed, my good friend. When I say nobody picks on my dummy, there'll be consequences. Actions have been taken. Now we have a shot at the championship tag gold. Right around here. Right over here. Now. Under normal circumstances, I would be quite concerned with the challenge of having to deal with the Suicide Kings. However, they have absolutely got to have an eye on Teen Sip coming back after them on Sunday. It will be real easy to look over us. But if they do, then they won't be the only dummy. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is scheduled for one fall. RWA Tag Team Championship on the line. Introducing first, the challengers. Coming in at a combined weight of 375 pounds, Cotton, James, and Crash are dead. Silence! That sounds, that's an interesting name there. A unique name for a unique team. And unique I, I'm afraid Unique doesn't say enough for the, these two characters. <laughs> Let me tell you something. These guys kind of freak the crap out of me, and I'm a fearless man. You, what you are is a nuisance. What were you doing out there? I was helping the investment of the RWA against these lecherous piles of crap that are sitting around ringside. Helping, yeah, that's a, that's one word I'd say. Look at this. You got an old freak out here in a magenta shirt. You got that obnoxious kid with the fro. That is a nice shirt. I gotta go ask him if I got that. You got two girls over there with my sunglasses. They're worth more than their houses are. These people are lecherous and they're disgusting. I don't even know what that word means. And introducing Watch their us. opponent. Yeah, exactly. What can I Coming in at a combined weight of 315 pounds, hailing from every woman's fantasy, the ace Mike Montero and simply fantastic Seth Alexander are the Suicide Kings. Second 
our tag team champions their first official title defense. It would prove to be very interesting should they lose today what would happen on Sunday versus the Power Trip. Probably the same thing that happened Friday night. I can't hear you over these boos that they're getting right now. The same thing that happened the last time the Suicide Kings faced the Power Trip. Poking and prodding the dummy on the outside. These guys are not all that bad. You really should get to know them. Did you just say they're not all that bad? You dubbed them the metrosexual mafia. Right. They are metrosexuals, and they are pretty much the Fall River Mafia right there. You have had a change of heart, and I'm not surprised. You know what you need? a change of shirt. My God. I thought sitting next to Philip Adams was bad. I'll have you know that I got this shirt of WWE, I'm sorry, WWE World at the RWAShop.com. Take two. Hey, all I gotta tell you is if some people would withhold, oh, wait, withhold, oh my god, we might as well just do another thing. If other people would uphold their side of the fucking bargain, okay? Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Keep your job. All right, I wouldn't have to be up here doing commentary. Hold on, okay, that's all hold on, hold on. I got yelled at for saying ass on commentary. Then you can drop an F bomb. Who yelled at you for saying ass? You did. I don't remember that. Oh my God, I can't say this on the microphone. Oh, the bell rings. We're underway here. Suicide Kings against Dead Silence. Mike Montero, obviously the uh, smaller of the two, going to have a hell of a time matching up against the bigger Cotton James. Looks like Zach Alexander is going to go and try to get him some. A little bit of posing and showboat would never hurt anyone, right? Crash is still um, stationary on the outside here. Oh God, same result now. I apologize for that. I just had to get double confirmation on what I said. <laughs> okay, then. Members of the influence arguing that possibly there was uh, some something uh, peculiar about that lockup. Possibly some uh, tomfoolery. Oh, my good gracious. He just angered that giant. Yep. And Zach Alexander is out in the middle of the street. Oh, he's back. Yeah, I know what he saw out there, too. I do believe that was Jack Connor's mother out there. And he just he just walked by Crash and Crash came to life. This whole thing has got me freaked out to no end. Uh, but you know, whatever in the sake of entertainment, right? Absolutely. And now his little dummy comes into the ring. I tell you something, that dummy ain't no dummy, let me tell you. I know absolutely nothing about him. I think he was an uh, amateur wrestler at Oklahoma State. I could be wrong. He doesn't look like a cowboy. In all honesty, I think he went to the University of North Dakota. He looks like a fighting Sioux. A fighting Sioux. Sioux. S-I-O-U-X. Fighting Sioux. Oh. Oh, oh a small yeah, package oh. cradle. Oh, oh, you said the dummy's got a small package now. I did. Backslide. I haven't seen one of those in six years. And much to the shock of no one, he didn't win with that small package. <laughs> it's sort your Billy Ware joke here, folks. Here's the, here's the standoff. The crowd's heating up. Neither of these teams. What? As I was saying, neither of these teams are your typical fan favorite. Not but right. the fans here are, they are our fans of entertainment. Let me tell you something. Our fans dig guys with goatees. Oh, really? See, okay. that's why I get all the women. Cotton James is is uh, phenomenal compared to yours. Oh, say absolutely. That. Compared to, I mean, Cotton James, from what I've been told, and the people of his community, is a god amongst men. Yes. Mike Montero comes off the ropes. Hip drop, arm drag. Crash, the smallest guy in here, in control of this match. Montero is a former multi-time RWA heavyweight champion. Zach Alexander is a former RWA heavyweight champion. These two men are not in the ring with any slouches. 
Mike Montero is actually the longest reigning RWA champion, and the Suicide Kings have the most tag team title reigns of any tag team here in the RWA. Zach Alexander has also had an impressive run with the now former Rhode Island State Championship, winning that at our second legacy event. They've also ran in impressive trains with Jezebel, who has since, uh, oh my goodness. Oh God. The dummy's down. Not to mention a former undefined championship as well in Mike Montero's pass. That, that is true. And the title, too. And <laughs> the title, too. That's what we're saying. TJ right? Swift's being hit on by a... a does TJ Swift just get hit on by a woman of a larger persuasion? It's uh, certainly possible. Oh, my God. TJ Swift's Mike Awesome circa 1999. If he does the back elbows right here, I'll be mad. Oh, oh he kicked him at the mommy daddy bit. Which is probably best if that man can't reproduce. Right? I would, if I would have Cotton built him a ding ding. Uh, you know, I hear those juggalos are perverted like that, so it's very possible. Number one, two. The, this, the, the influence is absolutely distracted by those women standing across the ring. Vertical suplex. Number one, and a two. And referee Manuel. That's right, I forgot I named him. You are the gatekeeper, you the gatemaster. Sorry, what? Don't look at these sunglasses, they cost more than you do. Big clothesline by Zach Alexander. Let's get back on the subject here. The subject is that guy's gonna mean count. Tag into Montero now. Irish whip coming up. I wonder if he knows we're hiring. Double hip toss. We'll have to let him know. Let me tell you something. I was just around ringside a couple minutes ago with Antonio Otama. That little girl down there is full of piss and vinegar, let me tell you. Well, that one over there? That one over there. I wonder if, are you going back out to the ring anytime? Are you going out with Handsome? I just might be going out there. I'm going to have her kick top gun. I, okay, top gun. I'm going to have her kick you in the shins. Can't even reach that high. She's like two feet tall. I'm gonna bribe her with a T-shirt and a bag of chips or something. You might want to talk to Mac Madness about his dating techniques. Two She's down only. Con once again in the break it up. Folks, if you're offended by our commentary tonight, we do sincerely apologize. And if you have any complaints, please visit us at rwrestling.net. While you're there, be sure to buy a t-shirt and buy some tickets for our next live event happening Saturday, August 14th at Tickers Bar and Grill when RWA presents Summertime Showdown. Main event has already been announced, by the way, where my client, the top gun, J.P. Hansen, will be taking on the perfect gentleman, Logan Rose, for the Triple Crown Championship. You must be very excited. I am ecstatic. Back in the saddle again, you could possibly manage the Triple Crown Champion. Let me tell you something. It's been far too long since J.P. Hansen has been, had a shot one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. There is confirmation that he was made a mommy daddy by Cotton did make him one. Not anymore. Let me tell you something. When was the last time J.P. Hansen had a shot at the Triple Crown Championship? A shot? A one-on-one -on -one opportunity. You're asking the wrong guy. My memory goes back as far as 10 minutes ago. All right. The correct answer is it's been over two years since J.P. Hansen had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity to become champion. That's a long time. Absolutely. For a man of his caliber. But you also forget in those last two years he's been a member of members only. Tag Team Wrestling, Tag Team Gold. Right. J.P. Hansen's good enough to hold two belts at the same time. Right into the corner, back to this match since you clearly don't want to engage. You would never catch me questioning J.P. Hansen's ability. You know why? Because he beat the ever-living crap out of him. Don't you forget it. Suicide King still working over Crash in the meanwhile. TJ Swift still attracting a lot of attention from the females outside the ring. Snapmare I almost thought he put a shirt on for a second, then I realized that he's this is the closest crowd gonna come to championship gold in the RWI. Oh yes, oh yes. Mr. Swift was sidelined with a knee injury. It's good to see him back. Already was doing some deep bends. But yeah, that too. It's <laughs> your own joke here, folks. I'm going to pass on that one. Hey, we already have dubbed him the first superstar ever to come from Provincetown. Not going there either. 
Crash getting an advantage. Takes down Zach Alexander. He really, really needs to get a tag back in now to Cotton James. Oh, close the body. Nobody home. Oh, my goodness. Crash is one of the very few people on the RWA roster that Zach Alexander might be able to have a physical advantage on. The Suicide Kings aren't, aren't the biggest team, but... This, this must be a treat for them to be able to work over the size, some of the size of, of Crash. Absolutely. Suicide Kings have been on a huge roll since just before Legacy when they beat their longtime adversaries, the Minutemen, and they defeated the, uh, the Power Trip for the Tag Team Championships. Certainly, uh, they are on a hell of a roll. If you missed the match from Legacy, it was, it was a classic. I suggest you go on YouTube.com slash the RWA forever. You've got to check it out. Along with a match that's beginning a lot of attention all over the internet, the Sean Leader Crimson Out Hamia match for the, uh, the RWA Telephone Championship. But folks, if you're not aware, Sunday, RWA Hype, we will be having in our main event a rematch for the RWA Television Championship. It is a barbed wire ladder match. Leader Hamia. Can you even wrap your mind around that? A barbed wire ladder match. It's never been done to my knowledge. Certainly not here in the RWA. Absolutely not. The, the pain and anguish that a man has to go to just to become television champion, or even for short later to retain the television championship. Uh, I don't I don't know if I could do it myself. Kick to the back of the head, right in the wood. I think, I think Crash might be out at this point. Cotton in to break it up. He has to at this point. And his dummy's you know, in a lot of trouble. Bringing them back to their corner, obviously that's a sign of good tag team wrestling. Cut. Absolutely. Yeah. Suicide Kings are in complete control of this match. I don't know if even if Crash gets in back into it, what's going to happen. Well, he needs a tag. Obviously he needs a tag. Setting him up here again. Whipping him off into Zach. Wheelbarrow. Almost hit that self-defense right there by Crash. Takes out Montero and then takes out Alexander. The crowd is behind him. He really needs to get attacked in the cotton game. Well, this is his opportunity. He's been, He's crawling. He's almost there. The crowd is behind these two weirdos. I don't cotton. know why. And here comes the big man. Oh! Monsters close on. And again. Alexander eats another clothesline. And a shoulder. Shoulder almost knocks out Montero. Turns him inside out. Big body slam coming up. Billy Ware looked like he was trying to get involved here. He's walking around the ring right now. What a, besides right in that corner was good. With authority right there. Absolutely. Cotton's got to be what? 6'4", six, 6'5"? Six, Double choke slam. Oh, oh they, they, they managed to counter. It was a smart move by the Suicide Kings chopping down the Redwood. That was a close one right there. Cotton right back up onto his feet. He's got Montero on his back. Chokes him on Alexander. Oh! Back back stutter on Montero. This could be it. Cover one, two. No, wait a minute. Billy Ware's getting involved. All hell's breaking loose. We got to do something. The influence at ringside, first class at ringside, it's just become a nuisance. The referee, it's impossible. There's no nuisance in first class. No, there's plenty of nuisance. It's just impossible for people to keep track. Goes off. Wait a minute, Billy Ware gets involved. Cotton needs the belt. He a heavyweight championship. TJ Swift. Referee wasn't looking. Let me tell you something, I've been hit with those belts. They don't taste good. Not even with ketchup. Set him up, could be the death sentence. Oh my Good goodness. Day. That's it. It's it's flying one, knee. two, three. You can count to a million. It's over. The Suicide Kings are doing a menage a trois right now with Crash. That four. And another one. And they just, they bored the referee into counting the three, even though both men were in the ring. Our uh, referee men, well, uh, easily intimidating. A valid effort, as they would say, for Cotton and Crash. What? Oh my God! No! 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 There goes the dummy! 
Oh, Spirit Squad style up and then down he goes as the influence celebrates yet another victory. Their first successful title defense. Will they be as lucky on Sunday? How would you get their rematch? Suicide Kings had all the momentum in this match from the start. It's going to be all enough for Suicide Kings Sunday at Hype. Folks, I'm getting informed that I have to go attend to some first class business. You go have fun. I'm going to make sure that little girl kicks you in the shins. We'll be back after this.